Hi guys, Dmitry Puffin here. Uh, what I would like to show you today is a little trick that I recently discovered using uh, my mixer and the mono station using the AUX channel of the mixer. So what I basically have here is my original Novation, mono station and the mixer. Uh, circuit uh, is connected to a mixer using the stereo input. Uh, Mono station has connected its audio out into a mono input and the aux channel from the mixer is going in back to the mono station. Right now, with this setup, I can gradually add a signal, send like pretty much every input from the mixer into a mono station and utilize its audio input and it's distortion circuit and to shape like sound and create some different textures, whatever. And the main advantage of this method is that I can send mono station itself uh, back into the audio input and this way getting a, some kind of feedback loop going on. Uh, yeah, of course, you can just route, for example, circuit from the headphone output into audio in here and get the same result. But in this case, you will lose that feedback loop functionality. Uh, utilizing an external mixer with AUX output, you can also have this feedback loop thing going on. And this will give you a little bit more opportunities in shaping the sound. Uh, Let's just hear how it sounds like. So basically here we have uh, a basic loop, a basic drum loop. And uh, right now I will blend mono station in. Here how mono station sounds isolated. I can control the, how much signal goes out from the aux and I can also create this feedback loop by turning aux knob on the mixer uh, on the mono stations channel as well. I can add the clean signal. Also, I have another pattern here, which is basically three notes in three octaves. And I can use, by muting the notes, uh, I can use the key tracking feature to open up filter in different places where I need that. So it sounds like that.
can get interesting uh, unexpected results by using a feedback loop and any sound source that, that you need. I can connect for example my ES6 right now and I can route it into the same distortion channel so it will create this weird thing going on here but it also already sounds cool so I can also use. <laughs> I can, for example, use as well the LFO. And get different textures as well. I can, for example, mix as well noise. As you see, it gives you a very interesting opportunity to play with the distortion and it can be suitable for some kind of industrial industrial music or like if you would like, you can sample that and use it in like hard techno or something like that. So yeah, that's basically it. So pretty neat trick. Uh, try it out if you have such a mixer. Also try out just using that by routing audio, any audio into the monastation it also sounds great also you can use automation by recording it into a step sequencer so uh, it's it turns monastation into like a clever distortion unit in this case uh, which you don't get with basic pedals so yeah try it out and uh, I will record a small gem afterwards so stay tuned <laughs>